Was the night before Christmas in the Great Charm. Not a dentist was working, not even a nurse. The forceps was sitting by the dental chair in the hope the patient would soon be there. The children were snuggled up all in their beds while, while Sunitza's Pat waited for the premiums. Curtie in her scrubs and theatre cap, she stepped into cover Nicholas now. On the roof of LRI there was such a clutter Santa had landed and banged his nash up. Curtie arrived in such a dash, at the scene she found there had been a crash. She found there to be blood on the new fallen snow, gave a look of horror to the nurses below, when what to her wandering eyes should appear, but a bruised nose on the reindeer. The little old nurse, she brought her prick, to nub up Santa's area with local anaesthetic. The rough and ready Curtie was on the game. Santa yelled and shouted and called her a name. So now Kaz, now Andrea, now Sam. On Helen, on Heather, on Sal. From the top of the roof to the top of the ward, they dashed away, dashed away, dashed away all. With Santa on the trolley, they did fly. When they reached the dental space, anaesthetic they apply. So up with the forceps, too thick glue and it came out with another two that all at the end they heard on the roof the tap dancing and cheer from little each little hoop as Santa entered recovery where he came round getting him ready for the homeward bound. Gather round, children, gather round. A story from the classic, Anesthesia A to Z, fire is burning, tree is decorated, and so a tale from past. Twas the night before Christmas, the hybrid was buzzing. Triple A on table and surgeons still fussing, slooping, clamping, dissecting with speed, blood bank on the line, a new sample we plead. Travers, West, Norfolk and Norwich. Which one is best for the abdominal forage? A big clamp the magnificent surgeon desires. Below the renals, the even better anaesthetist requires. Meanwhile in eight, the scene is more holy. Avulsions, high ties, an injection of foamy. Next up, a carotid with the professor of nails. The TCA blips ne'er heard in his travails. On the ward, a poor chap awaits his foot's fate. Washout, debridement, or maybe amputate. Consented as such, plus minus is key. A nibbler, power saw, or laborious jiggly. Then finally calm, as the new trainees close. Clips to the skin, they are told, not vital to O's. MHP stood down, teg running still. ABG showing their patients quite ill. The trusty ODP rings ITU for a bed. We didn't know about this, the charge nurse said. We need 30 minutes to ready the space. What, to draw up some white stuff and filters replace? The Christmas party draws near, at Tigers you know, for some a sly kiss beneath that missing toe. When theatres, and so to recovery, that teams oft forgot, when theatres closed down and staff homeward trot, whether morphine, cyclozine, fluid or out. Please destroy emeds, they frequently shout. Who's got the bleep? It's impossible to say. And here draws to a close UHL's perfect day. So rejoice in your work, play hard and be nice, for one day you might be up for the slice.
do the who and six, ste six steps of insulin safety, stop the line if you have to, then date exit greatly. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Ho, 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 ho. Good night. Welcome to Storytime at Glenfield Hospital with the GBT team. It was the night before Christmas and in UHL. The patients were sleeping, not ringing a bell. The bedpans were hung in the sluice with care, in hopes that norovirus was not in the air. The on-call docs are sleeping in their beds, while admissions and arrest calls danced in their heads. The anaesthetist in scrubs and a personalised cap had just put their feet up for a well-deserved nap. When in recovery there arose such a clatter, the gas man sprang up. What on earth is the matter? A way to recovery in his crocs like a flash, he pushed past nurses to see a bad rash. The light on the monitor flashed a red glow. The display was clear, the pressure was low. When would you believe it, who would appear but a surgeon and Reg in full theatre gear? That consultant, so lively and quick, he knew in a moment that patient was sick. More rapid than eagles, his theatre team came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Sarah, now Beth, now Hirup and Lorraine, on Charlotte, on Catherine, on Gemma and Elaine. To Thoracic Theatre, his emergency call, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As staff in blue scrubs started to fly, with packs and trays on trolleys cloud high. So up to theatre everyone flew, with sets and sutures and a spare sucker or two. And then a noise I heard by the door, washing and splashing all over the floor. I switched on the light and was turning around when out of the scrub up a surgeon did bound. He was dressed in a gown from his head to his foot and on his head his light he had put. No ties were done, it was open at the back so I tied him up tight just like a sack. His eyes were merry by loops he twinkled so merry, nose over the mask just like a cherry. As he gave us a spin to tie up his gown with a bow, the patient came in with a pulse very low. An easy intubation, he had no teeth, and smoke from the diathermy formed like a wreath. There was lots of blood in his round little belly that drenched the swabs like strawberry jelly. He was definitely in need of a larger retractor. Being chubby and plump was becoming a factor. Blood kept pouring all over the bed. This was one was a bad one we were starting to dread. He spoke not a word, he went straight to work and clamped the bleeder, then turned with a jerk and looking at the monitor high on the wall, he knew returning to theatre had been a good call. He ripped off his gown, the reg could finish off, but make it quick as he was starting to cough. Then we heard him exclaim as he left out of sight, Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. One, two, three. <laughs>